Welcome to the Shaw Festival, one of North America's premier repertory theater companies. I'm Kelly Wong. And I'm Sanjay Talwar. From its humble beginnings in 1962, the Shaw Festival has grown to several productions on three stages every season. The Festival Theatre is the largest here at Shaw and seats 886 people. Inspired by the spirit of George Bernard Shaw, the Shaw Festival creates unforgettable theatrical encounters. From thought-provoking classics to modern plays and musicals, a lot happens on this stage. A lot goes on behind the scenes as well, both before a show is ready to perform and while it's happening. We want to take this opportunity to give you a glimpse of all the aspects of the show that don't happen on the stage. Things you don't normally get to see. Let's go backstage, shall we? The rehearsal hall is where the actors, director, and stage managers get the show ready for the stage. Choices like how the characters move, what they sound like, where they enter and exit, and how we get from one scene to the next are all made in this room. Our stage managers, Lee, Annie, and Katie, are busy taping the dimensions of the set onto the floor of this rehearsal hall. It's like a map for the actors to work on while the set is being built. The stage management team is key to supporting rehearsals and maintaining the director's vision through the course of the run. Just outside, music rehearsals are underway with the band and cast. Depending on the show, our band has as many as 16 musicians, all led by Paul Sportelli, our music director. The Shaw Festival's acting ensemble is widely recognized to be one of the best in the world. Under the artistic direction of Tim Carroll, each actor performs in two shows per season. To keep their skills sharp and the inspiration flowing, company members attend classes in voice and dialect, movement, and scene study throughout the year. At the other end of the grounds, our crew is hard at work erecting the BMO stage. This is just one of five open-air venues that will be home to specially produced plays, concerts, and curated events, prioritizing the safety of our audiences, company members, and the community. The dressing rooms are where the actors put on their costumes, wigs, and makeup. Our wardrobe running crew is in charge of maintaining the costumes throughout the course of the run. They also preset costumes before a show and help actors with quick changes before they step out on stage. The costumes are created upstairs in the wardrobe department. Most of the costumes you see on stage are made right here at the Shaw Festival. The wardrobe department has over 40 people working on multiple shows at the same time. They not only build the costumes, but are also responsible for bringing the designer's vision to life with hats, shoes, and a variety of other accessories. The wardrobe department is responsible for hundreds of costumes each year. Their work begins well before the actors have set foot in a rehearsal hall. Costume hours vary from item to item, but a period evening dress, for example, usually takes between 80 and 120 hours to construct. Once the show closes, the costumes are stored here at the warehouse, where they wait until they're needed for future productions. One of the Shaw's favorite designers, Judith Bowden, is in the process of pulling costumes for her latest show. She has thousands of pieces to choose from. Depending on the needs of the production, the costume might be used as is, or it might be repurposed into a different look. The Shaw Festival has a dedicated audience who is well-versed in the eras of the plays we present. We take great care in ensuring that the clothing you see on stage is both functional for the performer and authentic to its time. Equal attention is paid to the hundreds of thousands of props stored on the other side of this warehouse. Props are basically everything on stage that isn't scenery or human. 
from hundreds of chairs to complete dining sets, from peonies to puppets. It all comes from the props department. Then there's the hair. The wig department creates not only wigs, but beards, mustaches, all the facial and body hair required for each show. The Shaw Festival holds over 280 wigs in stock. On average, it takes between 40 and 60 hours to make a wig. Our wig, costume, and props are all ready for the stage. Now all we need is a set. The sets are built well before the show opens. What you see on stage is the result of many months of collaboration between the designers and builders right here in the scenic shop. Because the Shaw Festival is a repertory theater, there are multiple shows being performed each day. After a matinee, that set must be dismantled and stored backstage while the set for the evening show takes its place. It's hard to imagine that all this work used to happen in this room here, directly behind the stage. Nowadays, this space is used to store set pieces as the stage is transformed from one show to the next by our changeover crew. This is our fly rail, located just off stage, out of view from the audience. It's a system of pulleys with counterweights used to raise and lower items on stage, like the curtain, the set, the lights, even the occasional actor can fly up using this system. Up here on the mid-rail, you can see where the lights are hung to illuminate the stage below. During any given season, there are between 700 and 800 lighting instruments in this theater. And all the way at the top of the theater is the grid. Up here, you'll find the loft blocks and the head blocks, which are the foundation of the pulley system. You can think of the blocks as the wheels that the flies operate on. Back on the ground level, actors often enter the stage from the wings, but another way to travel through the theater is underground. This is the trap room, located directly under the stage. For some shows, hydraulic lifts are used to raise or lower set pieces or actors through the trap door on the stage. This theatrical feature traces back to the 4th century in ancient Greece. The gears that you see here are for the revolving stage platform. Computer automation controls the speed and direction of the dual turntable system. In addition to housing this complex machinery, actors can also use the crossover to travel to the other side of the stage without being seen. A lot of work has happened before the actor says their first line on stage. For those of us in the acting ensemble, the stage is our place to play. Our place to engage in a dialogue with you, the audience. Our passion. Our joy. It's important to know that there's a larger group of equally passionate, dedicated artists working everywhere else to bring our stories to life. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you soon.